Welcome guys to the Crazy Hands Knitting and Crocheting channel. In this video tutorial I want to show you how to knit a really cute and easy waffle kitchen towel. So look how cute it is. Uh, before I was posting uh, this waffle stitch and then I came up with the idea to knit a um, kitchen towel. So you can make it bigger longer as you want the stitch is really easy so if you want join me for this tutorial i was using 4.5 millimeters knitting needles and 100 percent yarn from loops and thread uh, close cotton club 155 meters per 100 grams and it is medium worsted weight yarn actually any yarn will will be fine I'm using the cotton yarn because you can wash it later and then it will it will stay like new. Using long tail cast on method, cast on 47 stitches. I didn't measure the the length it's it's clear you can make it, but if you cast on 47 stitches the the width the width of the towel is uh, 24 centimeters or about nine and a half inches so this is the width if you want it wider then cast on any number that is divisible by three plus two salvage stitches so in my case as i said 47 stitches and the first row it will be always on the wrong side slip the first stitch now bring the working yarn in front slip the next stitch and purl two and repeat holding working yarn in front slip the next stitch and purl two one two and again slip purl two slip purl two slip purl two Please go on and finish this row. At the end we did slip purl 2 and purl the last salvage stitch, we will always purl it. Turn row number 2 slip the first stitch salvage stitch. Now knit 2 1 Two. Skip the next stitch and insert the needle between the first and second yarn over and draw up a loop. Now knit the next stitch, knit one and slip this loop over the stitch. And let's repeat. Knit two. Insert the needle between the first and the second stitch on the left hand needle, draw up a loop, knit one and slip over. And again, knit two, skip the next stitch in between, draw up a loop, knit one. and slip over so it's really easy no worries please go on and finish at the end we did need two now the last loop slip over and curl the last salvage stitch 
Row number three will be absolutely the same as row number one. Slip the first stitch. Now slip the next stitch holding working yarn in front and then purl two. Slip, purl two. Slip the next stitch holding working yarn in front, purl two. Slip, purl two. And please finish this row. Row number four, the last row, slip the first stitch, now purl three, one, two, three. Holding working yarn in front, return these three purl stitches to the left hand needle, one, two, three. Now bring the working yarn in back, wrapping them and knit three one two three and that's how we form this little square the first one again repeat purl three return one two three bring the working yarn in back now and knit three Let's do it again. Purl three. Holding working yarn in front, return three stitches from the right hand needle to the left hand needle. Now bring the working yarn in back and knit three. One, two, three. Let's do it one more time. Purl three, return, bring the working yarn in back and knit three. Please go on and finish this row. So that's what we have. And now we are going to repeat everything from the beginning. As you see, the first row will be on the wrong side. Repeat row number one, slip the first stitch, bring the working yarn in front, slip the next stitch and purl two. Again, slip, purl two. Slip the next stitch holding working yarn in front and purl two. So I guess it's clear, after that you repeat the pattern 2nd, 3rd and 4th rows. Please go on and I will show you how to bind off. And here I am, I repeated my pattern uh, 14 times. And now let's bind off. I'm going to bind off on the wrong side. If you want to do it on the right side, then just knit the first row again. Slip the first stitch and as you see we have all purl stitches. Sorry, I need to turn the stitch. You don't need to do it. You see purl stitch, you purl it. And slip over. So all stitches are purl stitches here. So we will purl and make slip over. Purl one. And slip the first stitch over the second one. Purl one, slip over, purl one, slip over. Please go on and finish bind off. So that's it, here is the right side, cut the yarn and weave in ends. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial with me, I hope you enjoyed this 
short tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. If you are looking for the written instruction, please check my blog. I'll also leave comments if you have any questions. And I will see you soon. Bye!